right, so take a nice, easy seat on your mat. And just rock around a little, you know, make sure your sit bones are in good contact with the earth. So if your legs are not happy being crossed, you can put any, uh, put your legs in any comfortable position. And let's get a nice long spine going and just bring the breath onto the mat. So we can really just focus on the breath here. The earth is supporting us. Close your eyes, maybe. Start to go really deep inside. Notice that from your sit bones all the way up to the top of your head is one long column of energy. Now we're going to breathe into that. One hand on the belly, one hand on the heart. So take a nice deep exhale, pressing your belly button towards your spine, always out through the nose and in through the nose. And now we're going to take that breath in through the nose and observe as it comes in, down, past the heart, and deep into the belly. And then as you exhale, same thing, just observe the breath as it starts to go up past your top hand and out through the nose. And just stay with that a few times. Really just taking the time to see the breath flowing. And after your next exhale, just take your hands down by your side. And we're going to start breathing up energy from the earth so the palms are face up. Exhale deeply. And then inhale, long arms, palms face up, draw up. Feel yourself getting taller, taller, taller. Shoulders stay soft as the fingertips gently touch. Gaze towards your hands. And then turn your palms out and with long, long arms, exhale, release. Tap your fingers down toward the mat. Inhale, energy up from the earth. Let it fill your body. Slight gaze up. And a nice exhale to release. Nice and deep here. And we'll do that one more time. Now we are seated. There's a lot of twists and turns and bends, but see if you can get the breath to go to your toes. Inhale, long up. Feel that energy going all the way to your toes, your fingers, and exhale. Good. And and then just allow your breath to return to normal. Inhaling and exhaling. All right, we're going to um, do some seated cats and cows. So just bring your hands to your knees here and arch your back, shine your heart forward. Nice familiar move here. And round your spine, gaze towards your lap. So you could take this opportunity as we're seated here to really notice what's happening here. What's your pelvis doing? What are your sit bones doing, your shoulders? What's everything going on here? And the next time you're gazing toward your lap, just hold here. And then come on up to seated. Inhale and exhale. We're going to bring the hands to the heart and lean back.
engage the core and change the cross of the legs here. Inhale and exhale. Taking it side to side tilt here, left arm down, right arm up by the ear, shoulder is still soft. Lengthening ribs away from hip, tilt to the left. Remember, we're not leaning into this left hand. Take your right hand down, left arm up, same thing, shoulder away from ear, no support from that right hand. And we go back over. So we're just going to go left and right and just go ahead and start taking this at your own pace. So as you go over, notice what you're feeling here. And then when you reach that point where you just feel great, take a breath there and come back. So this is always your practice, right? We're seated. So if you even want to close your eyes, so you're just feeling what you feel. And the next time you come over to the left, just stay there. So we'll come back together now as we all eventually come to the left. Press that right hip, that right sit bone strongly onto the mat. Bring your left hand to your left thigh, palm face up. Inhale, and as you exhale, start to make big circles with that right arm, inhaling up and around again. So, it's morning, we're opening up the body, getting it ready. Good. And the next time you're over to the left, just hang here, bend your right elbow, inhale, and as you exhale, take your right elbow toward your left knee. And then come back up, release the right hand down, left arm up, inhale, tilt to the right, hold here, make sure that left Sit bone is still nice and grounded here. Put your right hand on your right thigh and make your circles. Especially as that arm goes forward, you're lengthening the spine. But you might notice other things happening as you do this. What's happening in your hips? What's happening in your shoulder? The next time you're over to the right, whenever that happens for you, stay here. Bend your left elbow, inhale. And then as you exhale, take your left elbow towards your right knee. Come on back up and bring the left hand down. All right, let's shake everything out. Inhale and exhale. And we're going to, um, we're just gonna do a slight twist. Okay, so let's go ahead and change the cross of the legs one more time here, okay? So wherever you were, take the arms long here. Nice long spine, shoulders, yes, away from the ears, inhale. And gently twist to the right. Bring your left hand to your right knee, your right hand by your hip. Take the arms long again. Inhale. Exhale. Gently twist to the left. Same thing. Left hand's by the left hip. Inhale. And gently twist to the right. So gently is the operative word here. Come center and gently twist. We're waking up the body. Getting the spine used to what we're asking it to do. The next time you take it to the right, just stay there whenever you get there. Inhale, put more length in your spine. And as you exhale, just the head. Just turn your head towards your right shoulder. So now we're starting to get that neck in gear here. On your next exhale, turn your gaze to the left. And on your next exhale, back to the right. 
Release to center, arms long. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, to the left, staying here. Lengthen your spine, but we're only moving the head. Inhale, exhale, turn your gaze toward the left shoulder. Inhale, exhale, turn your gaze toward the right. Inhale, exhale, turn your gaze back to the left. And come back to center, hands come to the heart. All right, let's bring the hands down for a moment and just take a moment to breathe. See if you can feel the breath moving through a little more smoothly. Maybe the energy has come up a bit. And we're going to do a nice um, hip opening here. So let's bring the hands to heart center. Lean back. Okay, we're going to raise both feet, but you can always do this for a switch instead of raising both feet. We're going to raise both feet. Now the core is engaged for this, right? Right ankle over left. Inhale the arms long, turn your palms forward, and exhale, bring your palms to the mat, gaze past your fingertips. Inhale up, we're keeping this easy now because we're starting to open up the hips, left ankle over right, exhale down. Inhale up, switch the ankles, remember you could be doing it from here, and exhale. We're gazing past the fingertips, keeping the spine long, crossing other leg forward. And you might be going at a slightly different pace. That's fine too. Feel what you feel. Move how you move. Practice how you practice. Okay. After you have your next left foot in front, you'll be even, and we're all going to meet back up here, and then put the right ankle in front. So whenever you get around to it, don't rush yourself through. We'll wait for you. Inhale and exhale. And then we're going to bring the fingertips down, palms to the mat. Now we're staying a little longer because we've warmed up the hips. Inhale, shine your heart forward. Exhale, maybe those fingers walk a little farther forward, saying good morning to the right hip here. Anybody feel this? Yeah, okay, good. Inhale and exhale. Now inhale, look up slightly and walk your hands to the right. You're gonna start to feel a nice stretch in the left side. Let's add the right side to that by Walking those right fingertips forward. Inhale and exhale. Bring your hands back through center. Press your palms into the earth. Inhale, look up. Exhale, wiggle your fingers forward. Inhale, look up and walk your hands over to the left. You feel that stretch on the right side. And as you exhale, Draw your left fingers a little more forward. Yes, and then come back to center. Press your palms into the earth. Inhale, gaze past your fingertips, heart lifted. Exhale, melt. Maybe those fingers start to walk farther forward. That right hip is so happy. Inhale, the arms up. Bring your hands to heart center. We're going to lean back into core engagement, cross the left ankle over the right, draw the arms up. How's that core doing now? It's there. Turn your palms forward, inhale, and let's get that left hip. So bring the hands down, palms to the mat, gaze your heart forward, and exhale, melt. So you're checking in with your left hip. If those fingertips want to walk a little forward, we walk them a little forward. Inhale, press, look up, exhale, melt. Sending our breath, our warmth, our light into that left hip as it opens up. And then walk your hands over to the left, feeling that stretch in the right. Balance it out by walking the left fingertips forward. Try and keep that right hip grounded. 
Walk your hands back to center. Inhale, look up. Exhale, melt. Now walk the hands over to the right. Inhale, look up. Exhale, melt. And walk those right fingertips away. And then come back to center one last time. Inhale, look up. Exhale, melt. See where those fingertips want to go? Yes, say good morning to your left hip. Thank you for all you've done and for all you're about to do. Draw the arms up. Draw the feet up. Bring your hands to heart center. And uncross. Give your legs a nice little shake here. Inhale and exhale. Take your legs straight. Ooh, they've been crossed a long time, haven't they? So let's give them a crazy shake. Inhale and exhale. All right, everybody good here? So we really work the uh, lower half of the body and we're, um, those hips are nice and open and we're going to keep them open with our core work. So our core work then is going to be dead bugs so that we don't uh, make those hips tighten up. So go ahead with bent knees, uh, feet hip width distance apart, roll yourself down. So we know a lot of dead bug variations. Let's go through them, okay? And we're going to take both arms up toward the sky. My palms are facing toward my knees here, okay? Both feet are on the mat. So version one, with, the, with both feet on the mat, extend your right leg, left arm back, and in. Extend your left leg, right arm back, and in. Version two, knees to tabletop. Extend your right leg, left arm back. Extend your left leg, right arm back. And version three, the legs are straight, down with the right, back with the left, and up, down with the left, back with the right, and up. Hug your knees in for a moment and rock. All right, none of these is more correct than the other. They're just different. You can mix them up. You can do all the same, okay? And we're going to keep alternating till we've done four on each side. Wiggle your feet at me if this is making sense. Everybody got this? So let's say you start with the leg up version and you're like, okay, we're, I've done two. Um, that's, all, that's all I wanna do. Now I'm gonna work with my knees bent or even my feet down. Do that. Maybe you start with your feet down and you decide you're going to knees bent, okay? All right, so pick your starting position. Remember, we're going four times on each side alternating. The arms are up, okay? Your legs are in your starting position. Inhale, and as you exhale, draw your right leg forward, left arm back, bring it in left leg, right arm. We want to keep a slow and steady pace here. Right leg, left arm, no flinging the body around. Left leg, right arm. That was two on each side. Go ahead and continue. Right and left. Left and right. Right and left. Left and right and bring it in and rock a little side to side. All right, now we get to do the same thing with two legs and two arms. So let's start feet down, we'll do three together and then we'll do four. Okay, so go ahead, feet are hip width distance, arms are up, extend both legs and in. Knees to tabletop, if you wanna try this version, extend both legs and in. Legs, if you don't, this is going to be hard on the back particularly, so maybe you're not going to do this one at all. Take it down, yikes, and up. All right. We're going to go through four. You can mix them up or stick with one. Here we go. Back, two legs and up. Back, two legs and up. Two legs forward, arms back and up. Two legs forward, arms back. Take it up, 
Hug in and rock side to side. Whew. You see what I mean about the back? With the legs straight, and especially the double leg, you've got to really watch out for your, for your back there. Bring the feet down. Let your knees just open and close. Little gentle butterfly wings here. Inhale and exhale. And while we're at it, let's get those obliques, shall we? So let's get the arms out to a T. Draw your knees into your chest. We're going to start just by rocking gently a little over to the right, a little over to the left, a little to the right, a little to the left. And now take it to the right and see where you can go now. And then come back center and take it to the left. Don't do anything that bothers your back. So you could even bring your feet down and do this, right? If, you're, if your spine is asking for that. Now we're going to take it, whenever you finish up left, come back to center, take it to the right, maybe extend the legs if that's you this morning, bring the knees in and come back to center. Take it to the left, maybe extend the legs, bring it in and center. Once again, your feet could be on the mat. And maybe if you do that, you extend one leg. This is a beautiful thing, I love this. I might just continue here. Continue how you want, side to side. Oh, I am so happy right now with this one. Oh, try it if you want. <laughs> Foot down, other leg extends. Woo! We don't always have to do the max, but sometimes we might want to. Whew. It's always your choice, your practice. Oh, I think that's enough. Inhale, I got a little carried away there. Rock side to side. Wiggle your feet at me if you feel your core, your core, is awoke, your core is woke now. All right, let's come to hands and knees then. Okay. Sometimes you might have to remind me that we've done that about a hundred times, right? Okay, let's come hands under knees here. Inhale and exhale. So we're in this nice square, right? But this uh, right angle for the wrist might not be great for you this morning. So you might walk your hands a little farther forward and let's just take that right leg back, tuck the toes under and roll and press. So we are opening up the foot, pressing back through the heel and Getting a nice little um, calf stretch out of it. Rolling the foot. And bring your knee down. Take your left leg back and roll and press back. And then hold your left heel back for a moment. Inhale and exhale. And we're going to take the arms way forward now and just press the heels back and come up just gently a couple of times and then slide into child's pose when it's right time for you. You might have your big toes together, knees wide apart. That makes lots of nice space for the torso. Your forehead is connected to something here, whether it's the mat, your hands, a block, your arms traditionally would be forward, but if you want them, your hands back by your feet, that's great too. Just figure out where your body is asking to go right now. And then we're going to just come up from child's pose to table, walk the hands back toward the legs, and come to kneeling. So make sure your knees are comfortable, okay? One knee's going to be down. If you have something you want to slide underneath for extra padding, a towel, a blanket, if you want to um, fold up one edge of your mat, we have the left knee down, hips are forward, and then the right leg is out to the right. We're doing gate pose, okay? I thought 
cupcake pose today because this is kind of our like entry into summer, right? Okay, so here we go. Right hand is up and this foot, your right foot might be pressed to the mat or the toes might be up. Decide which is more comfortable for you, okay? So left arm up, remember the shoulder soft, we're lifting out from the hip, inhale. And then tilt, your right hand slides down your right leg and come back up. And once again, gate pose. This is just a great pose for when we're going through a transitional period. And don't lock out this right knee. Keep a little bend in it. You might keep even more of a bend. And up. And now we're going to go gate here. And then we're just going to float that right arm up and lift, Whew. and release, and bring the left knee down, okay? So that's strictly gait. I know a lot of times we do gait to knee down half moon. We didn't do that this morning. We're just doing strictly gait. The right knee is down. Make sure the right knee is happy. Left leg is out. The left foot might be flat on the mat. Toes up anywhere in between. Left palm. This is important, left palm is up, we want the hand to slide down. Left knee has at least a micro bend in it, right arm is up, inhale, exhale, tilt. And just like in triangle pose, we're not trying to reach our toes, we're keeping our shoulders stacked. And come back up, and gate pose to the left, and come back up, and reach left and up and this time we go left stay there draw the left arm up come both arms up bring the hands down and find your way to downward facing dog yeah wow our first dog of the practice imagine and let's go ahead and once you get there pedal the feet one heel down and hold, other heel down and hold, and press back through the heels. And then take your journey, whatever that is right now, two feet to the hands. So it could be big steps, it could be a nice little meditative walk, it could be hops, however you're going to get here. When you get here, bring your hands to the thighs, hips back, shine your heart forward. <clears throat> Exhale, roll your hands down your legs. Once again, we don't have to touch the toes. We're just rolling the hands. Wherever they stop, they stop. Straighten the legs here and upward salute. Float the arms out and up, palms touch. And hands come heart center. So if you're not already at the top of your mat, just go ahead and come to the top of your mat. We'll begin our sun salutation. So now we're looking for mountain pose, right? The shoulders are back and down. The spine is super long. And we already, we were tracking the breath earlier. Now let's track it with the body straight. So take a nice deep exhale here, out through the nose. And now as you inhale through the nose, observe the breath as it just goes everywhere, fills your body. You get enormous. You probably take up your whole entire space right now. You're full with the breath and exhale, soften. Inhale, float the arms up. The shoulders are soft. We're reaching ribs away from hips. Exhale, swan dive, folding at the hip creases. We don't care how far down the hands go. We want a long spine. Now bend your knees, hips back, shine your heart forward, half lift. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step back with your right leg and stay in this lunge for a minute while you wiggle your hips a little bit. Inhale and exhale. And find your way back to a plank. So, you know, it could be knee up or knee down, whatever suits you right now. And then we're going to chaturanga down. 
So let your elbows bend. The spine stays nice and under control. Take it down. All right. And working on a little back bending here, starting with a gentle cobra. The hands are under the shoulders. Shoulders toward the ears, down the spine. The head's going to stay in line with the spine as we gently look up. So we want to avoid throwing the head back, basically, and release. Let's do that one more time. Shine the heart forward, and then lift the hands. Let all the energy for this come from the spine. Release and find your way to downward facing dog. Okay, you can press up, you can go table to dog. Inhale and exhale. All right, we're just gonna take the right leg up. Step the right foot forward any amount and then find your way to the top of your mat. Take a half lift, forward fold and float the arms out and up as your palms touch and your hands come heart center. Nice. All right, so we're back at the top of the mat, feeling that breath circulating, okay? Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, swan dive. Your body knows all these moves, let it do it. Inhale, shine your heart forward, half lift. Exhale, hands down. This time the left leg goes back into that lunge, your right knee over your right ankle, and then just move around, wiggle those hips a little bit. Yes, find your knee up or knee down plank here. If plank isn't in your practice today, just come to a table, you'll be fine. Inhale and exhale. And then lower yourself to the earth. If you're in a plank, you're going to be doing chaturanga. Otherwise, just find a way to get yourself down to the earth. Good. All right. So we did that cobra earlier. Now we're going to work the lower back more. So extend your arms directly out from your shoulders. Okay. Lift your right arm and your left leg and put it down. Lift your left arm and your right leg and put it down. Back to right arm, left leg, and down. Left arm, right leg. And you're basically your gaze is towards your mat. You're not looking up, your gaze towards your mat. Left arm, right leg. Now see if it works for you to do two arms, two legs, Superman, and bring it down. If that worked for you, do two arms, two legs. If not, do one on each side. Two arms, two legs, or right, left, left, right. Ooh, and release. Make a pillow with your hands, bend your knees, and let your legs just move from side to side. A little spinal clearing here. And then go ahead, bring it back down hands under the shoulders, and find your way to down dog. Remember, down dog, you can always just stay in table. You can move to a wall, put your hands on the wall, and extend your spine that way. Inhale and exhale, and find your journey, feet to the hands. When you get to your hands, take a nice little half lift here, Forward fold, and float the arms out and up, palms touch. And hands come heart center. And release. All right, so let's find mountain pose, and we're going to do a little bit of balance here. Okay? All right, so um, the feet are hip width distance, palms are out, exhale. We're going to Draw the arms up, inhale, press the palms together, and as you exhale, just lift your right heel, draw your hands to your heart. Release the hands. Remember, the gaze is steady, the breath is calm. Inhale, this time we're going left heel. There you go, and that's what we're doing. Maybe take it to a knee this time, right knee, and release, left 
knee. And release. Okay? So if your balance is not that cooperative this morning, you can be near a wall or something that you can just grab onto, or you can just keep working the heels. We're going to um, move on. These are all optional. Inhale, right knee up, or even the heel. Extend the leg, bring it in and down. Inhale, left knee up. Extend the leg, bring it in and down, and release. All right, so just um, let's keep going with whatever your favorite one was that, okay? Heel or knee or with the extension. Bring it up, right side, possibly extend, bend, tap down. Bring it up, left side, maybe extend, bend, and down. Even if your toes are down, you can do the extension like this, right? Okay, and just keep going. You got it now, just move through that. Yeah. And the next time you go left, you'll be even, so. Come back to mountain pose. When you get to your left, remember, you're going at your own pace here. Mm, feel the breath move. Close your eyes and sense your body just in your space, standing equally. Even though you might be nice and grounded here and equal standing, there's probably some movement happening to keep you centered, right? Okay, so now let's take the legs wide, toes out, and we're gonna bring the hands to the hips and bend the knees up over the toes. We're sitting straight down in a plie, plie down. All right, now the next time we plie down, keeping the spine nice and long, we're going to bend slightly forward here and just take your left shoulder towards your right side and come up and right shoulder toward the left and come up. Left shoulder toward the right and come up and right shoulder toward the left and Come up, straighten the legs, turn all 10 toes forward, the legs are still wide. Inhale the arms overhead, those same hip creases you were just touching, fold forward with a long, long spine from the hip creases. You can go halfway down, you can stay higher, okay? And then if you want, continue down, and your hands might come, your uh, it might come to your thighs here, or they might touch the mat, and then you can just kind of move around. So let your hips release, let your body rock side to side. If you want to take your hands and let them flow freely, that's always good. And then come back to center, straight spine, lift up. And take your feet together. You can step, hop, however you want to get your feet together. Come back to the top of your mat. So we'll be working our way down. <clears throat> if you have a towel or a blanket, something you want to cover up with, an eye pillow for final relaxation, have that near you. <sighs> Feel your breath once again. Start to, you know, Scan your body, make sure everything is happy and ready to come down. And then float your arms up, inhale. Yeah. Exhale, swan dive. One final half lift, shining the heart forward. Now hands to the mat and find your way to down dog. And if you've had it with down dog, just go to table. 
And once you get to down dog or table, just wiggle your hips side to side. And when you're done releasing your hips, bring your knees down, sit off to the side, and find seated mountain pose. So this is just as though we were standing, the feet are flexed, the spine is long. Take your palms out to the side. Inhale, draw the arms up, press your palms together. Exhale, hands to your heart. And now let's whew, shake everything out, soften everything up. Okay, we're gonna take two soft forward folds. So gently draw the arms up and gently melt forward. We're not trying to reach anything, we're just releasing. Inhale, float the arms up, and gently float forward. And then inhale, bend your knees, bring your feet hip-width distance apart, and slowly roll down. Okay, we're going to do some uh, little finishing poses here. Extend your legs, extend your arms long. Inhale, and as you exhale, draw right knee in. So just right knee, and you might hold on to your shin or your hamstring. This left knee might start to bend. This is fine too. Inhale, extend the legs. Exhale, left knee only in. Inhale, extend the legs, extend the arms, both knees in, hugging shins or hamstrings. Inhale and exhale. And now take this to happy baby here. So you might grab onto the insides or outsides of your feet, or you might hold your hamstrings. Just um, flex your feet here, so like you're gonna put footprints on the wall. And then Rock side to side, release the spine. Come back to center and point and flex your feet. So we're releasing those ankles. Circle one direction and the other. Bring your feet down. Take your arms long out to the side, okay? Now we're just gonna have the feet are still hip width distance apart, and we're gonna open and close and wiggle those fingers. Open, close, wiggle. Open, close, wiggle. Circle the uh, wrists one direction and the other. Okay, relax your hands. Your arms are still um, out to your side here. And let your knees just open and close gently a few times. Bring them back to center and let your gaze move side to side. Check in with the neck, see if everything's good there. Does it need anything? And now come back to center and bring your hands about six inches away from your hips, maybe a little more if that's more comfortable for you. Scan your body here. See if anything needs to realign or reposition. See if your back is more comfortable with your legs straight or your knees bent. And start to find your final relaxation position for this morning. Just work into a place where you can be without having to move or think about it. Find your final relaxation position. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Release yourself onto the earth. And one more time. Inhale through the nose. Exhale. Release yourself onto the earth. Let go of all effort and
and just be in your final relaxation. Slowly begin to bring your awareness back to your space. Invite a deeper breath. Gently bring movement back to your body, wiggle your fingers and your toes. And on your next inhale, extend your arms and your legs. As you exhale, draw your knees in, and then find your way over to a side, coming up to a nice, easy seat. Turn your gaze to your own good heart and your bright spirit. Thank and honor yourself for your practice. And we thank and honor each other for sharing this time. Namaste. Namaste.